Hello everyone. Thank you all for stopping by Spirit and Me 1111. I am Stardust 1111 and I am here to do your weekly love reading. This reading is for Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. I being a Virgo myself am kind of looking forward to this reading also. Okay, so if you like, hit the like button, of course. Subscribe and share. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> share if you must and you will. The links will be in the description box for personal readings. Um, I have up and coming items for purchase. I have so much going on right now revolving around these channels that I just have to do what I have to do. I was committed this week to get readings out for our signs as well as a general love reading so that I can begin to produce my work. Okay. Signs for the earth sign. Any cards for the earth signs for their general love reading for the twin flame and soulmate community. Hey. Mm. Tell you about these wands. Okay, so we starting your reading off here. Um, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn with the Queen of Wands very energetic career oriented woman she's taking charge and she's in pursuit of her highest mission and job and on a quest to serve others as well as herself while gaining her independence and standing in her truth along the way queen of wands that's really really good energy okay she aspires to be the best that she can be she will give order and direction or you can follow her steps as you will want to being that she's very successful in the um adventures and, and tasks that she takes on she completes them successfully with poison grace she stands in her power she stands in her truth queen of wands i like that energy good right seven of wands something or someone needs to be defending you have to stand up for yourself your ideas or something or someone here is um is a victim of unfair attack from someone else and you're standing in your power and your truth and you're defending this person or yourself or your ideas here okay so standing in power and truth and congratulations for being so strong and resilient in the situation it takes a lot of strength and courage to stand against so many opposers but um you are doing just that can keep up the good work there okay seven of swords up late at night thinking a situation in this connection as you thinking okay it could be the seven of wands here okay so something or someone is coming at you or your divine masculine about this connection here it's like there's a lot of opinions here or someone putting shade or salt on your name i want to see this connection happen and you know your divine masculine's like no i'm defending the honor of my divine feminine like you know she's not perfect but who is he's not perfect but who is but at the end of the day he's standing there and he's standing strong and defending you like baby cry no more i'm here i'm coming i might not be there with you right now but i am coming i'm over here doing me where i am defending your honor so you can come out of this dark place so you can get up and shine so you can live your best life honey because you can and you will you may be getting up at late at night or not able to fall asleep at night just pondering and thinking and worrying for what for what you don't have to you don't have to your divine masculine that got this he got you boo okay you have the justice card wow good spread seek your truth seek your truth you need answers in this situation you want justice you want to seek your truth and your justice in this situation this could also be something around legal papers or documents you can have a court date or some pending litigation with something or someone here in this equation this could just be you seeking truth in the matter you seeking clarity you wanting answers yeah so that's that Then we have Ten of Wands energy here. Taking on more than you can handle. Biting off more than you can chew. Okay? You're feeling burdened down. You got too many projects going. You got too much on your plate right now. You need to decide what you need to drop and what you need to hang on to and put front and center right now to make this connection happen to relieve yourself of some of that burden so you can stand up straight and be able to go into this situation prepared and tough and strong and ready to take on what that that follows next and comes next. As life always brings something else, right? <laughs> Okay, for the last card here in this pool at this moment, I have the death card. Now, death is not death, like croaking death, okay? 
This is about the old dying off so that the new can come in, okay? Death of an old cycle or habit so that the new can grow in. This could be uh, addiction. You could be needing to get rid of some addiction in your life or somewhere. But there's some bad cycles here that need to come to an end, that need rephrasing. And you need to um, get ready to come to a place where you are ready to purge, where you are ready to get really ready to get rid of some unhealthy habits and things that are in your life that's blocking this connection, that's keeping you here in this Ten of Wands energy because you're just taking on too much. Let some of that shit die off so you can get in union, okay, with your divine one because this is not serving you as it's burdening you down. And you're going to have to have this this death take place, Major Arcana. You're going to have to get rid of something. Something old has to die off in order for the new to come in and blossom and grow, okay? So that's where that's at, all right? I'd like some clarifiers for this death card here in this Ten of Wands, Spirit. Um, Nine of Swords also like some clarity here for what you would like for the earth signs towards Virgo and Capricorn to know about this connection. So give me some clarifiers here. Spirit, please, if you will, give me some clarifiers. Spirit, why is this Nine of Swords here? Spirit, why is this Nine of Swords here and this Ten of Wands and the Death card? I need a bigger workspace. I'm working all over the house today, so you're going to see many setups. <laughs> okay. Alright, so for my clarifiers, let's go. I'll take three cards, please. Spirits, thank you. Okay. Hmm. This is pretty decent here. So for the clarifiers here, my first card is the Queen of Cups. Okay, now what? Hmm. So my Queen of Cups here is telling me that she wants to come with love. She's embodying that queen energy. She's standing in that queen energy. Hard work, dedicated, committed, strength, passionate, okay? And she's also loving at the same time. What I'm getting here is this could very well be that the masculine is dealing with two different women with two different energy. Wands being a fire energy, okay? He could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or the Queen of Cups here being water energy. It can also be someone that's dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay, if that's a love triangle, um, we did not get a card here to implicate that, but I will not dismiss the possibilities that that do very well be the case here. Okay, moving on. So, the Queen of Cups is here, and she shows up, and she's saying, I am abundant. I am so full of love. I am ready to love, to bring this love to the equation. Take this cup as I drink it upon it, and I give it to you to drink in my love, so that we may be one in this love. Okay, she very dedicated and determined to family to fertility she is a mother okay she is a peacemaker she stands to her strength she gets along with everyone and there's not too many people who don't like her awesome as she is very lovable woman she wants to give you that cup she wants to share that cup of love with you wow beautiful <laughs> okay so then we have am I missing So then we have the Five of Pentacles. Filling out in the code. Financial loss. Okay. Financial loss. But then you have the Snow Lily. The Snow Lily is like, not all is lost. I'm gonna pop up, right? I'm gonna erect and I'm gonna bring this situation a whole nother direction if you just hang on. If you come out of this out in the cold, down in the dumps. We all take losses sometimes, but you gotta pick up and keep going and move on that that has hurt you that that you have lost not all is lost okay and then we end this with the nine of cups okay nine of cups look at that beautiful 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 woman nine of cups she is a hostess she likes to put on and entertain she likes to offer her cups to those around her she's very abundant and she shares this abundance she is love and she wants to be loved and she absolutely loves and adores caring for those around her in her personal space okay she has so much to give and so much to offer treat her well okay do not take her for granted do not i'd like to end this reading here for the earth signs with a message from the universe what would the universe like for the earth signs to know about their connection for this week when it comes to love? What would the universe like for my twin flames and soulmates to know? Okay, so. Yeah, 
Okay. There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. Okay. There's nothing sexier than my authentic truth. Stand in your truth. Stand in your power. Be that of who and what you need to be to get across your truth. And that's the message. And that's the message. Thank you, God.